you know, it is, it is a loaded question, and I need to be careful about what I say because I have not seen that final report, and I intend to take those actions, and of course that information becomes public um, to a certain extent once it's happening. But let me go back a little bit and, and identify for you that Director Carter did identify through his own means five people within the organization of CPS that were um, to be held responsible in his mind for what was happening and that could no longer remain in the workplace and so they were placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of this investigation. So he found enough information to identify these people were culpable um, for this uh, issue coming up. Uh, I can't say uh, exactly what will happen because I, I haven't seen the outcome, but I can assure you that people will be held accountable um, under the personnel rules for all of the actions um, that uh, we identify culpability for. Secondly, I remind you, I believe that there's communal responsibility for everything that we face. Um, obviously, you know, the executive branch, the legislative branch, and the agency, the, uh, the agency at the executive level all share some responsibility in what happened in the past. But I come from a culture, 28 years in the service of the state of Arizona, 25 of those in the adult Department of Corrections, the remainder in the Department of Juvenile Corrections, in which I, as the chief of security, was responsible for all security issues, and I ultimately am held accountable. And as the warden of a 5,000 bed prison unit with 10 prison units was ultimately responsible for everything one, every one of my employees did. And then you look to see what level of responsibility that person has. But the buck stops with me. As the director of this agency, I am the person responsible. I understood that taking the responsibility of this job. I understand the, the, the fact that I need to be held accountable, but that we as an agency also need to be held accountable. And the culture um, that we will be changing will go from a culture, I think, of secrecy and lack of communication for various reasons. For example, the advice from the Attorney General's office, as I've been explained um, uh, on a number of, of occasions, is that you don't release any information. You can't because of their interpretation of CAPTA. I believe that's wrong. I've proven that we can do that without negative consequences. I intend to continue doing that. But in the end, by having um, what the governor called for, transparency, and by having um, uh, systems in place to prevent these problems that are followed, a policy that's actually followed, which I don't believe is part of the culture now, and by having a leader that's responsible and accountable, then we can address these problems.